Hi, my name is Dan Freeman. I'm a Dubspot instructor and Ableton certified trainer. I've been producing and performing with PUSH for two years now, and in the series of videos I want to share a series of techniques that are useful for both production and live performance. If you want a more general overview of the PUSH, you can check out some of the previous tutorials I did on dubspot.com. But you can also check out the excellent series of videos on the Ableton website, and you can also look at the Ableton manual. So in this video, I'm going to talk about five useful techniques on the Push's drum sequencer that can come in handy for both production and performing. So the first tip is how to make quick beat variation using both the select button and the double button. Now, I have 16 sounds loaded up onto a drum rack. When I hit one of these pads, you're going to hear the sound of the sample that's loaded in. The select button can be super useful because you hold it down, and then when you hit the pad, you're going to see the name of the sample, but you're not going to hear it. This is super useful in live performance because you can select sounds without auditioning them live. I'm going to start by making just a quick one bar loop, and I'm going to start with a simple kick pattern. Now the technique here is I'm going to press the double button, and then I'm going to quickly double tap on the second loop. And then I'm going to add a second drum. Now once I do that, I can double that again. Again, double tap. I'm going to add another pattern, in this case a hi-hat. Now I can double that again and add a fourth drum. So now I have four variations and I can quickly go between them. And now, if I look at the clip view of what I just did, you can see that within the single clip, I have, here's the kick pattern, and then the second one, you know, basically I basically add the snare and clap, and then I add some hi-hats, and then at the end I add some toms. Now, the second tip is to use the clip workflow to quickly create different clips with drum variations and then use the arrow keys to quickly go between them. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to just add a bass line that uh, I programmed earlier. And we're going to go ahead and play this clip. And I'm doing it off the session view on the push. So when I hit the duplicate button, the clip with the drum pattern is going to duplicate. And now what I can do is I can assign on the second clip the second pattern that I created. I'm going to hit duplicate again, and on this third clip, I'm going to assign the third pattern that I created. Hit it one more time, and so on the fourth clip, the fourth pattern that I created. Now I can use the push's arrow buttons to quickly kind of go between the clips, and there's absolutely kind of no delay between the clips. It's as if I was playing them in legato mode. I can even do quick drops by going to an empty clip slot with the arrows. Now, one useful function here is I can actually record all of this to arrangement view as I move 
through the clips with the arrows. And so that allows me to kind of, in arrangement view, get really quick uh, drum variation. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the global record. So now when I open up Ableton's arrangement view, everything that I just did is laid out here. And so that's really useful, again, both for live performance and for production to get some variation in your drum patterns. The third tip is to use push's repeat function to create some really cool and interesting patterns within the drum loop. So I'm gonna turn repeat on here, and then I'm gonna select the quantization, in this case, 16ths. Now, I'm gonna play the loop, and whatever a pad I hold is gonna repeat at the 16ths. So I'm gonna select a couple tambourines here. Now, the pads are velocity sensitive, so if I press harder, you're gonna hear it kind of increase in volume. Now I'm gonna record all this. And you see that it appears here in the step sequencer. Now, a really useful technique, if you wanna get rid of this really quickly, is to hold down the delete button and press the pads that are playing. And in doing so, you will get rid of every single note in the step sequencer from that pad. And that's really useful instead of having to kind of go through and manually shut each one off. So the fourth tip is to use pushes, mute, and solo buttons, which are found up here, to quickly drop elements within the drum loop. What I can do is I have the drum loop playing. I can hold down the mute and then hit the pad with the kick. And essentially, it's going to drop it. Now, holding down the mute, if I want to put it back, I'm going to hit the pad again. And again, this is something that can be really useful for live performance. With the solo, you can do the same thing. I can hold down the solo, and then I can solo out one of the pads within the drum loop. Tip five is really for those of you who are using Push as a live performance tool. And Push is a fantastic live performance tool, uh, both on its own or as part of a DJ setup. This is one of the ways I use to make drum fills when I'm using the push to play live. So I'm gonna play the drum beat with the bass line. So you can quickly drop the beat by hitting an empty loop slot right here. Now I have the repeat set 16 So now I'm gonna hold down the snare, and as I press, it's gonna increase the velocity, kind of building the fill. Now the key here is that because of the quantization, you've got to drop it about 3 sixteenths or 2 sixteenths before the 1, which is here, so. And you've got to watch the light, and really so when you get to about the third to last or second to last sixteenth, that's when you've got to press the loop with the pattern in it. Thanks, I hope you guys found these five tips useful. And stay tuned for more videos on the Ableton Push, which is now part of all student workstations in Dubspot LA and New York. Check out dubspot.com for information on Ableton production classes in New York, LA, and online. My name is Dan Freeman, thanks for watching. Welcome to Dubspot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, 
DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore Dove Spot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.